Any coffee drinkers out there? Well, if you're in central Arkansas and like to support locally owned and operated businesses, then you might already know about Zateo Coffee. But what you might not know is that the mission behind the biz was about way more than just Java. Zateo Coffee offers all the amenities that a specialty Java joint should, but the element of faith is what makes this coffee hotspot a bit different. Zateo is a Greek word that means to crave or to seek out, to search for something. And that's exactly what John and Trina Mitchell were doing when they were feeling compelled to trade in the corporate world for the entrepreneurial hat. We were really impacted by community and connection. And so for us, Zateo was really, that, that was the basis that it was built around. It really was, I, I hate to say this, but it really wasn't about coffee. It was really about community and connection. The Mitchells say from conception to completion was about 10 years for Zateo Coffee. At the end of the day, you know, whenever you've done all you can do in yourself and you've, you feel like you've done the work, you've made the plans, you've been a good steward of the idea or the dream that God gives you, sometimes you just have no other choice than to wait. <laughs> and when it's God's timing, it's amazing how quickly things unfold. That is part of the faith journey for us, is doing our part and, and focusing on the what and letting faith and the Lord move us towards the how. Um, and so that's been a big part of our journey, is that, that, that trust piece of, of letting the Lord do His part. The community element certainly obvious in how they originally started Zateo nearly seven years ago. Doing a crowdfunding campaign to initially launch this location, which is totally a community coming together to support something. Um, but then over the years and over especially the last couple of years with you know a pandemic and, and the way that that has changed the world, we've still continued to see our community show up and support this place. And now they're hoping the community will once again join with them in their next vision. We're opening a drive-through in the Spring Hill Greenbrier area. Um, it will be drive-through only. We do hope to kind of build that out where there's maybe um, activities there on the weekend, whether that be uh, a way to support lo local artisans or farmers market or, you know, so there's, there's some build out there that still has to happen. Another God-given dream that they hope will come to fruition with the help of their community. We're not asking people to, quote, fund our business. We're asking them to invest in a vision or invest in a dream because in reality, while that while the little donations and the little, I wouldn't say donation, but the little investment that they make into our vision, that just helps us get started. Um, so we really have to be creative about how we put together funding for that. And as we know, as a lot of people know, it's not cheap to start a business. So um, we do our part and then we ask our community to rally with us to help us finish it out. So yeah. that's so the kind of funds, the heart behind it. The funds that we raise in these crowdfunding campaigns by no means completely fund the whole, the whole project. A lot of times it's, it's enough to get us going or it's enough capital to sort of create sort of a safety net and maybe just a little, add a little extra, you know, for the unforeseens. But yeah, that's, and it, and it just, it involves our community and it connects them to something that they're going to drive by every day. Mm -hmm. For the Mitchells, it's all about following their faith journey and letting their one true boss rule their lives and their businesses. So. Obedience is really important. And um, if, you, if he calls you to it, he'll see you through it, right? The fundraising campaign still has a couple of weeks left, so if you'd like to invest in this faith-filled mission, we've included a link in the comments.